G'day everyone, Raid Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now for three. This is Lucky Episode 13. And uh, in the last episode, we were working on the, uh, the towers by the base. Uh, this episode, I'm, we're going to take a small trip in our uh, biplane here. And uh, just before I do anything else, uh, anyone who's interested, I have put the blueprints for the biplane, the hover vessel, and the saucer from the last series uh, up on in the Steam Workshop. So if anyone's uh, interested in those, I'll uh, see if I can provide some links in the description. But if you search for biplane or hovercraft or something like that, uh, or RAID 0 AU in a workshop, they should come up. So, um, also the base I built in Alpha 1, I think it was, is uh, also up there. So, if you're interested, you know, if you want to give them a try, go and, go and try them out, modify them if you need to. I have actually modified the biplane a little bit. I've added a... Um, up the front here I've got uh, I've changed these from directional thrusters to armoured thrusters and I've just put the uh, lights right at the front there I've also added a couple of extra thrusters on the side on each side so but before we uh, go up into space uh, so we were working on the design of our towers and this is what I eventually decided with. So, fiddling around with it, it was probably the best I could come up with at the time. The sun's in the way a little bit, so. And you'll see here that what I've done is I've placed the four, um, the four hangar doors in place. So we kind of get an idea of how big it is. It's a, it's a very large expanse here. Uh, but these are the outer walls. So you'll see I'm building that one at the moment. Now a couple of doors there. The reason being the plan is what we can do is we can start to move stuff from our building. Our uh, little builder's hut. And in each of the... Um, each of these towers here... Um, I've just cleared these out, so we've got some room that we can put some, we can use, utilize these instead of utilizing the, uh, the builder's hut and we can take that down. Uh, on each side here, basically you can come up and we can go around, and there's a turret at the top of each one. There, you can come along to the other one. And you can come along, to, can't quite go all the way along here because I haven't, uh, oh, there we go. And you'll see I haven't put a turret in this one yet, so still working on this one. And obviously on the other side. So, uh, just to give you a bit of a bird's eye view. That's kind of what it looks like from the top there. Give you an idea. So yeah, um, as I said, that was really the, probably the best I could come up with uh, at the time. I don't know. There might be a better a better solution to that, but um, yeah, I kind of did that and went, "Yep, you know what? That looks okay." I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments in regards to that. But, let's get on with it, because there's a couple of things that I want to get up in space. First thing is Sathium. We need to go and mine some Sathium. Yeah, how about any... Yeah, I've got plenty of drill charges, that's fine. And the main reason being I want to be able to make a uh, large generator. Just to um, just to make sure that we've got plenty of power. Oop, put my jetpack on. Ah, 
Ah, before I do that, there's one other thing I want to do. Oh no, we don't need to do that just yet. That's alright. Sorry, I'm thinking too far ahead. Let's just get going. So hopefully, this should turn a bit faster. Yeah, it feels a bit better. Alright, I'm just going to head up into space. Set my rockets. Reload those, just in case. And... Reload the guns. Ah. We go, space, the final frontier. So they say. Alright, so we're looking for some Sathium, there's some over here. It's normally pretty easy to spot. Yeah, I can see it there. It's that yellow over here. We're not going to need a huge amount of Sathium, but we do need some. So. Okay. Uh, we've got nothing floating around us that's going to start shooting at us. Uh, get it a bit closer than this. Do. Helmet on. Back to first person. There we go. Turn the jetpack on as well. Alright, let's get to some mining. Once again, for those that might be new to the game, um, with mining you can Standard mining is just simply hold down the left mouse button. Um, if you want to be more precise, hold down the right mouse button. Mine's a little bit slower, a little bit more precise than the left. And if you want to uh, mine at full speed, just hold both down. Doesn't affect uh, the yield that you get from it. There is a certain amount of ore in each of these ore deposits. Only thing that does happen is you tend to go through your drill charges a bit faster. But I haven't sat down and worked out whether the yield per drill charge is different or whether it's just you go through it faster because you're mining faster. But once you've got enough um, Prometheum, once you've got a decent supply of Prometheum, really uh, it's not an issue making drill charges. And the reason we need the Sathium for um, the next generator is we need to be able to make flux cores. And to be able to, be able to make flux calls, we need Scythium. You see, there's a decent amount here in, in this deposit. So, let's have a look. Yeah, I've got almost a thousand Scythium. So, you know what? That'll do. Uh, now, where's my ship? I'm number ship. Uh, 
I've lost my ship. Serious? See, is that way? You think it should show up? <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. The hell have I lost my ship? I don't know, just fly around until we find it. There it is, small vessel. So it's ah, there he is. How did I miss that? You guys are probably looking at it. God, why can he not see that? So you see, that's basically what we mined out there. We've still got all this here, and we've got almost a thousand satium, so... Alright. So that's the Sathium sorted out. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to go and check out a space station around here somewhere. That's where I am there. Sure, this is, there was a space station around here somewhere. Let's just have a bit of a scout, a bit of a fly around. The other thing is, if uh, we do, if I do come across any um, any of the drones out here, I will take them on and see if we. Uh, See if we can get some power calls from them. Well, it's all pretty quiet out here. There's definitely a, uh, there is definitely a space station out here somewhere. But then again, I couldn't find my uh, my own vessel a moment ago, so... There we go. from with the sun behind us. To be careful if it's got any uh, defences. Yeah, oh yeah, it's got defences. Lots of defenses. Am I out of range? Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's take that top one out. Let's 
still got a shot off on me, did he? There'll be one on this side. Gun out of range again. Let's move in. Just want to keep moving. And you want to be a little bit erratic with with your movement as well because the AI is actually pretty good at leading you. Let's just make sure. Yep. Alright, good. Bring it in. Check out Thermica Station. Uh, just have a quick scan around the. Uh yeah, we took a bit of damage at the front, a few dents and things like that, but I don't see a lot of stuff missing, so did much better with that that time. Looks like the addition of the uh, of the extra side thrusters certainly helped. Now, part of the reason I wanted to. come up here to Thermica Station is we will use this at some stage whoops don't, don't be doing that we will be using this at some stage to um, as a base for when we're building a capital vessel I'm not going to spend time building another uh, building a big base downstairs so not going to these are just all but we've got what we need to find is we need to find the core and we need to remove that core uh, thinking down here Gravity generator. Those down further, maybe. There it is. All right. Okay. All right. So now we need a jetpack on because the gravity generator no longer will be working. I did build a core and I was going to bring it up and put it in straight away, but at the moment I don't really want to be putting any uh, defenses in. I'm just going to break out that. Okay. So that's a tier one large generator. Uh, that's not going to give me power calls as far as I remember. Let's have a look in here. No, it's going to give us flux calls, but we don't need those. Uh, it would be the next level up that would have the... No, even the next level up only has... Just needs 10 flux calls. That's a massive energy output on that one. It's a big footprint as well. You know, I might I might end up building one of these and just uh, put it in instead of doing the large. 
I can unlock that. So I'll have a think about that. Depends if we got room to fit it in one of those towers. All right, so. Oh, let's turn that jetpack off. You can still use, um, you can still use the elevators, even when the power's off. Uh, I reckon it was this level here, was it? No. Here, why is this all blocked off like this? Hmm. There we go. This is a small vessel. Alright, good. That's that done. And the only thing is, I'm a little disappointed that we haven't found, um, found any drones or anything out here. The as I said, the main reason uh, if I came across any drones would be to see if we could get a couple more um, power calls. And the only reason for that would be to make the, um, the TIT, or the advanced constructor, and the only reason I'll be looking for that at the moment is for the tier 2 multi-tool. Simply to make things faster when dismantling stuff. But... Doesn't look like they want to come out to play today. Seeing anything moving around at the moment. It's just a Scythium. No. No, it doesn't look like they want to come out and play. So. Alright. Well. See if they want to come out later. What we'll do is we'll head down back to base. Just improve my uh, suntan on the way down. Alright, where are we looking? Yeah, not too far away, just over here. Should be fairly easy to spot now. Should be able to see the outline. There it is. So you can see we still get a bit of pop in as uh, as we come in closer. The details start to pop in. Oh, I lie, I did lose a block. I lost one of the blocks on the end of the uh, wing there. can tell it to make us some, here's our timer, just going to uh, just tell it to make us a few at the moment. And let's 
small generator. There's the large generator tier one. Not going to be not going to be able to make the tier two until we can make the advanced constructor. So we will just go ahead and make a, a tier one. That's still um, energy out on the small generator is 2.5 megawatts, whereas this one's 50 megawatts. So this will just cover us for power while we're continuing our build. And um, placing these items in those towers, once again, this will this will only be temporary. Uh, they will be moved again um, because I don't expect to have anything in these towers. Um, but just while I was building, I thought that will be utilizing a couple of these towers is probably a good idea. And in fact, what I'll probably do, thinking about it. rather than use that one and that one, because I can't link those ones together. Um, if I come into this one, what I can probably do is I could probably... Not that one. This one. I'll replace that block there. But what I could do is... and put some blocks down here and create this one into a room and this one into a room so they're both linked with a corridor. That would make more sense. That way um, we can move freely between the two. So, as I said, I'll replace that block in a moment. So, that's probably a better idea. Otherwise, we're having to continuously come out, run across to this one, run back to this one if we need to. Uh, and as I said, it's only a temporary measure just while we're building the rest of it. But we've got some defences up here. Uh, I'll complete that tower, complete that tower and put defences on there. Uh, I'll do that off camera. And then next episode I reckon what we'll do is we'll start moving everything over into these two towers. And um, start demolishing some of this stuff over here. Uh, now the only thing I want to be careful of is I'll keep the farm going here so I do still need to have a link because the core will be moved from here over to there so I need a link to come through here but we can do that once again with this uh, with this wood in fact what I can do is I can just lead that straight across like that won't be an issue so a little bit of progress made um, objectives done for this video I uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid0AU, signing out.